Hi, this is a quick video to go through a new feature in Yumi 1.01, .01, and that's the global scale. So in the initial release of Yumi, everything was fixed to this one by one scale. So if we were to build something really quickly, uh, yeah. So a super quick sample scene, and I was to drag in something like the Unity standard third-person controller. We see that this one-to-one -one scale doesn't really work. So in this case, it looks like the scale is of like one unit is one meter. So this guy maybe being 1.8 units high. Before, what you would have to do is scale this guy down to something like 0 0.4. And that's maybe fine if you're just prototyping or if you're using this one-to-one -one scale for your project. But I know a lot of you are already using this in existing projects or maybe using it with something like um, UFPS or something like that. So what I wanted to do was add a feature that allowed you to adapt the scale to suit your project's needs. So if we clear out this scene and we go to the config, you'll see there's now this grid size global scale setting. Um, it's got an option from one, which is the default that um, the initial release of Yumi used, up to uh, 10 times scale. So if we go with the standard Unity third person controller, we could try something like a, a grid size of 2.5. So if we try rebuilding that scene, and just add in a doorway so we can get some sense of scale. Now if we drag in the Unity third person controller, we'll see that the tile pieces, they match the scale of this guy a hell of a lot better. And we didn't have to do anything, we didn't have to re-import the tile pieces, we simply reset the grid scale. Now the grid scale is, it's not stored with the map, so if you've been building maps on a one-to-one -one grid scale, if you suddenly change that in the configs, things are going to get a little bit funky. So if I go back and rescale that down to one, it doesn't actually rescale the map. It's a setting, it's basically a base setting for your projects, and it's something that you should play with before really committing to building levels with Yumi. Um, but I think once you find that scale, stay with it, everything will work perfectly. But um, if you've already been building levels and you're already comfortable working on that one by one scale, stay with it for now. And uh, I hope you find this feature really useful. I think it's going to really change the way that Yumi can be integrated with existing assets like UFPS or ProBuilder or assets that you've already been using in your projects. So check it out. It's coming in version 1.01, .01, which has been submitted to the uh, asset store today. And I hope you find it really useful. Thanks.